Hi, it's Lena here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to map Keylab's knobs and faders to your favorite third-party plugin. Let's dive in. The process differs for each DAW, so we will go through them one by one, starting with Ableton Live. First off, make sure your Keylab is connected to your computer. Make sure you're in the user mode. Now drag and drop your favorite VST plugin onto the MIDI track in Ableton Live. Then double click on the track, unfold the configure button and click on it to enable MIDI mapping. Now click on the parameter that you want to control and then touch a knob or fader that you want to control it with. From now on, the parameter will be mapped to the knob or fader on the key lab. You can map nine knobs and nine faders, so in total, 18 parameters, plus other controls that can also send MIDI CC information like pads or buttons. What's really cool is when you touch the knobs or faders, Keylab screen will display the parameters that these control. These settings will be saved in your Lives project. However, if you'd like to save them on the Keylab itself, make sure to use the user mode. Now let's talk about Bitwig. To create your own custom mapping in Bitwig, follow these simple steps. Make sure your Keylab is connected to your computer, drag and drop your favorite third-party plugin onto the Bitwig's track. Now in the bottom right corner, there's a little hand. Click on it and it will open the mappings panel. The instruments toolbar displays multiple parameters that you can control. To create a mapping between the instruments parameter and Keylab, First, click on the parameter with your mouse and then move a knob or a fader on the key lab. You can control up to 18 parameters with knobs and faders. And there are other buttons and pads that also send MIDI CC information, and you can map these as well. When you move the knob or fader, key lab's screen will display the parameter that you control. These settings will be saved in the Bitwix project but you can also save them internally on the Keylab using user mode. And that's it for Bitwig. Now let's explore FL Studio. Make sure to connect your Keylab to your computer. Make sure you're in the user mode. Now in the FL Studio Instruments browser, double click on your chosen instrument. Now to enable MIDI mapping, click on the MIDI Learn button below the transport section. Now all you have to do is to click on any parameter in the instrument and then move a knob or a fader on Keylab. To add another parameter, repeat the process in the same way, including clicking on the MIDI Learn button. These settings will be saved inside the FL Studios project, but you can also save them inside Keylab with the user mode. And that's it for FL Studio. Now let's go over the MIDI mappings in Cubase. As always, make sure to connect your Keylab to your computer, then load and open the GUI of your third-party plugin. Next up, click on the Quick Control button in the top right corner. Finally, click the parameter that you want to control and then move a knob or fader on the Keylab. You can control up to 18 parameters with faders and knobs, and you also have other buttons and pads that also send MIDI CC information. What's really cool is that Keylab's screen will display the parameters that you control. These settings will be saved in Cubase project, but you can also save them on the Keylab itself using user mode. And that's it for Cubase. Finally, let's talk about logic. First off, connect the keyboard to the computer. Make sure you're in the user mode. Then open up a logic session and choose your favorite third-party plugin. Then in the top left corner, click on Logic Pro, Control Surfaces, and Controller Assignments. Once inside, click on Learn Mode. Then move the parameter that you want to control, and then move a knob or a fader on the key lab. You can control up to 18 parameters with knobs and faders, and you also have other pads and buttons that also send MIDI CC information. The settings will be saved inside the Logic project, and if you also want to save them inside Keylab, use User Mode. And that's it. This is how easy it is to use Keylab with your favorite plugins. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.